Hey guys, if you love this workout, you can buy this one and the entire series at shopjimra.com. Can't wait to join you. Hey guys, I'm Jada, and today we have a full body hit workout just for you using dumbbells. So you can grab your five pounds, eight pounds, 10 pounds, whatever is challenging for you, and join right in. First, we're gonna do a warm up. So let's go ahead and start. I want you to look side to side. We're gonna warm up that neck. We're gonna start all the way at the top of our body and then work our way down in the warm up today. Three, two, and one, now tilt your head side to side. Just lengthening that neck, working through that joint. And three, two, and one. All right, open up those arms, close them off. Just getting that full range of motion, pressing that chest out, squeezing the shoulder blades together as you extend, and then bring back in. A couple more. All right, now working through the shoulders, bring them up, back, down, and forward. So I want you to make the biggest circle that you can with those shoulders. Make sure you hit every point, up, back, down, and forward. There we go. So today, like I said, full body hit. We have five different sets that we're gonna do. This is a really fun workout. I love the way it's formatted. So we're gonna work the right side of the body, the left side of the body, and then we're gonna have two kind of cardiovascular moves that work everything. So it'll be really fun. All right, let's go right hand all the way around, working through that shoulder again. Now reverse the move, push away, and back in. Awesome, so kind of like you're slicing through water. So this shouldn't be a fast movement. It should be kind of sticky if you're, if you're thinking of it like that. It's, you're just moving through the shoulder joint and you're creating some resistance on your own. Awesome, let's do the left side. Cut through water, it's kind of sticky. There we go, and all the way back around. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. I know it's gonna get even better once you get done with this workout. Let's do one last one. Awesome, moving into our torso. So we're just gonna lean right and left. Awesome, really extend, try to reach the side. And then the other side, if you have walls on either side of you, you're trying to reach one wall and then the other. Awesome, three, two, one. Now we're gonna add a lean over, incorporate a little bit more of a bending motion. Working down through that torso, into that core, through that spine. Awesome, let's do a little rotation. Hands up, bend the elbows, twisting right and left. Awesome job, guys. Three, two, one, and finish that other side. I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. We're gonna get into working our hip joint. So big circle on the right. Now, if you feel like you need something to balance on, grab a chair, put your hand on the table, or put your hand on the wall, and just work that other side. Awesome. Give me three, two, and one. Let's do the other side. This is my left. Here we go. Big circle. Just warming up each joint, getting ready for movement. Great job. Three, two, one. Let's end with a couple squats. We got about 10 more seconds of our warm up. 
All right, guys, going into the workout, I want you to grab one dumbbell in your right hand. You're gonna shoot down to your left toe in a deadlift, come up and press. Nice. Now, if you want to, you can add a diagonal press and alternate that straight press. So one straight press, deadlift, diagonal press. One straight press, diagonal press. If that diagonal press is too much for your body, then just leave it out. Just do that straight press and that's fine. Straight across the body, diagonal. Awesome. Make sure you're rotating, pivoting on that back foot if you're doing that diagonal press. Last one, three, two, and one. Awesome. Going into our second move, this incorporates a little bit more cardio, dumbbell squat, swing switch. So we got back and up switch. So with your hips, you're going to press them back to whatever is in back of you. And then you'll bring that arm up, switch the dumbbell to the other arm. Now you can get some speed in this one. You want to make sure you're squeezing those hips and squeezing those glutes as you come forward. Starting to burn through those glutes, feel it. Almost there, we got about 15 seconds. You can do a little bit more of a bend if you want. Get a fuller range of motion. It incorporates a little bit more leg action. We got three. Two, one, awesome job. Dumbbell goes in your left hand. This time cutting across to the right toe. Here we go. Deadlift, press, deadlift, diagonal press. Working that other side of the body. Deadlift, press, deadlift, diagonal press. Awesome, reach across. Squeeze the glutes in, up to the sky. Reach across, squeeze the glutes in, rotate. Great job, guys. Don't forget to reach across to the opposite toe using that diagonal motion. We got about 10 seconds. Great job, three, two, one. Rest for a few seconds and we're going into that dumbbell swing and switch. Ready, here we go, back, forward. Remember, you can make this more about your hips, less about your knee if you want, or if you wanna go a little bit deeper, incorporate a few more muscles, then you're gonna get a little deeper in that squat. Don't forget to switch that dumbbell. Nice job. Oh, this breeze feels so good. <laughs> Come on. We got about 20 seconds left. How tight can you squeeze that booty? Working those glutes. I know everybody wants some tight glutes. And this move can help get you there. We got five, four, three, two, one, awesome job. That is set one, you guys. We got about a minute rest, and then we're gonna go into set two. So you got a choice. You can either rest and just kinda, you know, tap it out. You can jog it out if you wanna add a little bit more, or you can literally just stay still. Because this is all about you being ready for set two. All right, let me show you one of the moves. Dumbbell is gonna be in your left hand. You're gonna step out to a lateral lunge, come to center and a lateral raise. So we still got about 30 seconds to prep for this one. Oh, that water's getting close to me. I love it. All right, guys, about 15 seconds and we're going in. Starting set two, I really want you to just think about what your goals are. And I want you to 
intentionally work toward those goals. Are you ready? Here we go, lateral lunge and up to a lateral raise. Just keep that arm straight as you swing out and hold that lateral raise. Can you get a little bit deeper in that lateral lunge? Can you push off with that foot and really incorporate all the muscles in those legs? All the way up to that T with that lateral raise. Stop at shoulder level. There you go. We got three, two, one. Awesome, move two. You're gonna need both dumbbells. We're gonna punch the dumbbells down and lunge. Here we go. Little hop in between. So, if you're like Jada, my body doesn't wanna jump, then you can just walk it through. You don't have to jump, but you do need to do your best. So, whatever your best looks like, if it's a jump, or if it's just walking through, I want you to do that. And don't just do it because I asked for it. Do it for yourself. This is about you feeling better, functioning better, moving better, and living life, really. So go ahead, do your best. We got three. Two, one, awesome, drop one dumbbell. Keep the other one in your right hand. Lateral lunge to the left. Ready, here we go. Get deep, swing out to a lateral raise. How deep can you get in that lateral lunge? Bending with the knee to get low. Keeping the eye line up. There you go. Almost there guys, we got about 13 seconds. and pick up that other dumbbell. We're going back to those low punches with the jumping side lunges. Here we go. Really punch down toward the floor. It's not just a casual. Come on, punch it down. Give it your best. Remember our modification. You can walk through it. Keep those knees soft. Punch those dumbbells down. Woo! Almost there. We got five. Three, two, one. Yes, all right guys. That was set two. We got about a minute rest, grab some water, get a towel, feel that heart rate decrease just a little bit. And then we're going into set three. So this one, I'm gonna show you while you're resting. You need both dumbbells. You need a little space. So I'm gonna step back into a reverse lunge. When I go into that reverse lunge, arms come up straight in front of me. Open up here. Back to the lunge and then stand. And then we'll, we'll stay on that side for this whole time. So, shake out those shoulders because they are about to burn. This bow and arrow move, it's one of my all time, I love it but I hate it, moves. Because it's so good but it's challenging. So we're going into this reverse lunge bow and arrow in three, two, here we go, up, open, 
front, stand, same leg, up, open, front, stand, good, up, open, front, Now, I'm on stand, so forgive me if my lunge doesn't look perfect. But yours should look great. Let's do the other side. Actually, no, let's not do the other side. Keep going on the right. We'll switch later. There we go. We got one last one. Ah, yes. All right, so next move is a sumo squat and a jump. So we have one dumbbell, we hold it down, drop, jump together, tricep extension, down, up, overhead tricep press. I want you to keep those elbows by your ears during that tricep extension, bend, extend. There you go. Awesome, feeling that burn through the entire body. We got about five seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome, get ready, bow and arrow, other side. Grab that other dumbbell. In three, two, one. Reverse lunge, arms go up, open up, back in, stand. Great job. Arms up at shoulder level, keep them at shoulder level. That's where that burn starts. Up, out, in, back. We're almost there. Can you give me about 10 more seconds? Feeling it through those shoulders. Last three. Two and one. Awesome job, you guys. All right, drop one dumbbell. We're going back to that sumo squat with that. Um, there we go, here we go. Sumo squat, up, tricep extension. Sumo squat, tricep extension. Yes, there we go. Down, up, arms the, or elbows bend back, and then straighten. Come on, we almost there. We can do this together. Last three, two, get that one. Yes, you guys. Step three, done. Moving into step four, or set four. But first, we got a minute rest. So enjoy it. I'm gonna put this dumbbell down. Take a couple deep breaths if you want to. One more. All right, so I'm gonna show you this next one while you're resting. The goal is to have two dumbbells. And let's see. We got a squat, we got a sumo squat right. So what we'll do is bring out our hands here and then turn them down as we stand. So it's open to a W, stand. Open, stand, great. So we got that in about 20 seconds. Just remember, when you step out is when you're in that rectangle. When you stand up, you turn your arms down. In 10, here we go. Last five, three, two, and one.
Give me that nice sumo squat, nice and wide. I'm gonna keep my toes turned out. So even when I come back to a stand together, toes are turned out and that's fine. Now, if these dumbbells get too much or get to be too much, just drop them. That shoulder should be on fire. Almost there, we got about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna drop them for a second, shake out the shoulders, and then pick them up again, because we have a double straight arm push back into a curl. I'll show you from the diagonal. Bend over slightly, we're going together. We push back one, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. Nice job. One, two, up. Squeezing that upper back and those triceps and then get that curl. Keep them high when you push it back. High, high, it's kind of like a push back pulse. Up, up, good. My triceps are starting to burn. I can feel it in my upper back. We got one more. And rest, great job. All right, so we're going into that sumo squat, opening to the left this time. In three, two, one, here we go. Give me that rectangle. Come to stand, turn down. Keeping my back nice and straight, chest is up. Oh, I got a good breeze, that felt amazing. <laughs> Not worried about working too fast, more worried about getting low in that squat, keeping my elbows up at shoulder height the whole time. Even when my shoulders start to burn, I'm not gonna drop it. We got about 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, that one is a shoulder killer. I love it. All right, so double push back pulse and then that curl. Ready, set, tip your hips back. Here we go. One, two, curl. One, two, Yep. I want you to really focus on how much space can you create when you do that, that pushback. How high can those arms go? Almost there. Last one. Yes, you guys, you've made it through. Sets one through four. We got a minute rest, and then we're going into set five. So breathe, get your water if you need it. Remind yourself that you're awesome, okay? And we're gonna get through this fifth set together. So we're going into a squat thruster on the right. Just gonna have the dumbbell on the right shoulder. Squat down, up, down, up, down, up. All right, that's what we're going for. We still got some time, about 29 seconds. I'm just gonna hold this dumbbell and jog a little bit, pass it back and forth. You can just stand, you can jog with me. Getting mentally ready. For this next set, we got 10 seconds. So get that dumbbell on your right shoulder. Feet can be a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Ready? Let's go. Get 
Now, I'm going kind of quick, but you don't have to. I'm more concerned with your range of motion. So slow it down if you need to. It's completely fine. Yeah, come on. Almost there. We got 10 more seconds. Last three, two, one. You guys are awesome. So next move, it's gonna be a dumbbell, then over fly. All right, grab that other dumbbell, we need both. I'll show you from the diagonal, bend over a little bit. We're gonna go one, two, stand up, hop. One, two, stand up, hop. So working that back, trying to keep those shoulders nice and open, keeping those elbows as extended as possible. Come on. Now, if you're not jumping, you're just one, two, stand up, back down. One, two, stand up, back down. Love this move. Three, two, yeah, all right. So, going into that squat thruster, we need the dumbbell in our left hand now. Feet are about shoulder width apart. We go right now, come on. Keep it going. Give me that full range of motion in that squat. Come on, we're almost there. We got about seven seconds. Last one, you guys, you are amazing. We got a little bit of a rest and then one more challenge move. So this challenge, just to give you a push at the end, is to make sure you use everything you have today. Make sure that you reach that best that you can give. So it's gonna be really simple and you're gonna follow along with me. All right, five seconds, we're gonna do jumping jacks. Super simple. Ready, three, two, one. Come on, everything you have, get those arms up. See if you can move a little quicker. Remember, this is our finisher. So you're gonna get, I'm watching the waves. Want to make sure they come close, but not too close. Come on. Three, two, one. All right, jog it out. Got about five seconds. We're going to go to a high knee run. Ready, set, go. Now, if you're not running or jumping, and that's too much of a bounce, then here's your move. So you decide. Come on. We got this, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, all right. We got one more burst. We're just going back to jacks. You've done them, you know you can do them. Ready, three, two, one, here we go. 30 seconds left. Feeling that heart rate go up. Feeling really good about it because you're giving your best. Almost there. Right 
ready? Three, two, one. You did it. You made it through. You did the finisher. I hope you feel that heart beating. Whoo, I do. So let's take a minute. Let's bring that hurry down. Let's show, so show ourselves <laughs> some appreciation. Put one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. Go ahead, take a deep breath. And exhale. We're gonna stay here for about 30 seconds. I'm just listening to these waves around me. Thinking about things that I'm thankful for. Thinking about how I appreciate this body that I have. Not because of what it looks like, but because of what it does. One more good deep breath. Great job. All right, let's start our cool down. You should definitely feel your heart rate decrease after that deep breathing. All right, go ahead, roll the head to the side. And other way. Do it again. Let those shoulders go. So we hold so much stress in our neck and shoulders. Last time. Awesome. Give me big shoulder rolls back. We're gonna go one, two, squat, inhale, and exhale. Two shoulder rolls back. One, two, squat, inhale, exhale. Shoulder rolls forward. One, Two. Get deep in that squat. Inhale. Lengthen that body. Exhale. Shoulders forward again. One. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Awesome. So what I'd like you to do is put one foot forward. I'm going to use my right foot forward and go on to my right heel. And then I'm going to scoop down. Up. Extend. And do it again. Scoop down. Feel that hamstring stretch. Pull those elbows down and back. Do it again. Awesome. Give me one more on this side. I am so proud of you. Go ahead and switch sides. I believe you gave your best. I believe you finished this workout. Definitely if you're hearing me talking right now, you finished it. And I believe that this was the first step or maybe just a good step to your goals. You know, so nobody gets there all of a sudden to process and there's so much work to be done. But today, that was a great step for you. All right, guys, let's just do some gentle twists and reach. It's a very active reach, so I'm reaching that hand as far as I can, pulling it back. Two more, one to one side. And then the other. Awesome. Finally ending with some lateral lunges. Touch your hand down. Just sink into that lunge. Hold for a second. Ooh. <laughs> and then let's go to the other side. I'm gonna straighten out my legs. There we go. Keeping that slow, deep breathing. One more on this side. And let's finish it out on the other side. 
All right, walk your feet together. If you want to slip, roll up. One more deep breath. Exhale out all that negative energy. Just keep the good stuff. You guys are so great. Thank you so much for working out with me. I can't wait to work out with you again. I'm Jada Kelly, and I'll see you next time.